In the world of coffee, we love gadgets, but I find that some gadgets tend to steal all the spotlight. It could be the fancy new calibrated timbre, the controversial blind shaker, or a cool new high extraction basket. But actually, in my coffee setup, these are not the most important accessories at all. I have some unsung heroes that are way, way more important. And without all these, my coffee routine would be a nightmare. These gadgets don't quite get the spotlight they deserve, so today's video is dedicated to uncovering the free unsung heroes of coffee accessories. Oh, and if you're interested in picking up one of these, then I'll of course have a link to them down below in the description box. So my gadget number one is this one here, the humble but effective TDS meter, or sometimes called a TDS pen. This is something that is just so absolutely crucial for me. I probably got really into coffee water around seven years ago, and since then, this uh, TDS meter has been one of my most important coffee tools. So as I've talked about before on the channel, water is just a huge, huge factor when it comes to making coffee. What the TDS meter does is that it will give you a number for how many total dissolved solids there are in your water. So a TDS meter counts everything in your water, both salts, minerals and impurities. Some people will say that the TDS is too broad a measurement and it's true that you can geek out on a much more specialized information about water than this. Uh, you can talk about general hardness and carbonate hardness, a lot of different things, but it's still highly useful to know if you have a 30 TDS water or you have a 300 TDS water at hand. And if you want to mix these two waters together and hit, for example, 90 TDS, then again, this one here will uh, do the job a lot better than just guessing. I would say it's a little bit like a bathroom scale. Of course, it cannot tell you how much of your body composition is uh, fat and muscle and other things. Uh, but if you look in the mirror and you kind of know a baseline, then it can still give you a pretty good indication of whether it's time to lose some weight. To be honest, most TDS meters will do the job. I've been using a model from Xiaomi for probably seven years now. Uh, recently, I got the slightly newer version that is round. Uh, the old one was more squarish. And I find that the display is a little bit better on this one here and the button a bit more responsive. The next indispensable tool in my collection is this one here, the portable vacuum cleaner. I know this is probably not the most sexy coffee accessory, but it's just so, so important and uh, useful to have at hand, especially if you're making espresso or roasting coffee at home. Espresso is super messy and you will end up with grounds uh, all over the place. Home roasting is probably even more messy with uh, chaff flying around everywhere. And both chaff and ground coffee is something that is a little bit tricky to just scoop up with a regular rack. So a vacuum cleaner is uh, really useful. I will say that uh, this size is pretty good. You also want a rechargeable one, so you don't have to plug it in every time you're going to use it. Uh, that being said, it's probably a good idea to go a little bit uh, larger than you think. I have had some models before that were a little bit too small or flimsy to do a really great job but I find this one here is uh, just the perfect balance. And you have to remember, if you want acceptance and support for your coffee hobby at home, then it's a good idea to leave few footprints in the kitchen. Another underrated accessory is what we could probably call a bean dosing uh, vessel or cup. By now, many people know about the dosing cup, uh, which you use to move your ground coffee into your porter filter. But I think there's one tool that's just as important, and that is a special vessel or container to load the beans into the grinder. I've seen different ceramic cups that are used for this, but I like to use one special gadget that is actually made for something uh, completely different, and that is this one here. This is the lid for the AeroPress Go. This is actually meant to go on top of your AeroPress Go and the travel cup, uh, but I find it just works perfectly as a bean doser. You just put it on the scale, weigh in your beans, fold each corner diametrically, and then there will be a small hole where your beans can exit and fall into the grinder. This might sound like a small thing, but it's very annoying to pour beans from a bag and uh, into the grinder. And if you have to weigh your coffee, which I recommend everybody is doing, then you also need to pour it into something. Silicone doesn't break and it's practical, so I don't think you'll find a better solution than this. If you don't already have an AeroPress Go, then you can pick one up pretty cheaply. But uh, actually, you can also just buy the lid directly from AeroPress. And uh, I was actually surprised to see that they have a lot of new colors that just came out recently. 
so I'll definitely get one of them to uh, spice up my coffee station at some point. But until then, I'm pretty happy with the classic one I have here. So what are some of the unsung heroes on your coffee station? Who deserves a special shout out? Let us know down in the comment section below. Oh, and by the way, if you're a bit of a gear and gadget head, then check out this video here where I share my favorite coffee products from last year. I probably tested around 40 to 50 different products in 2023 and I picked my five favorites. So uh, if you click this video right here, then I'll just see you over there.